What in the blue hell is wrong with you? Are you still serious with this job? The company cannot afford to lose money, you were the best matchmaker in the city, damn it! I am the best. You know I believe it. I'm Cupid reincarnated. <laughs>
I, I ran as, for city council back in 2002, more on a lark. I, I never even expected to get elected. And uh, lo and behold, uh, I wake up one, you know, the next morning after the election and I, it's like having a tiger by the tail. You wonder, oh my goodness, you know, what are you going to do now? And it's people have put their trust in you and uh, you have to deliver. So it's very humbling, but again, it's, uh, it's very rewarding. And I've had, I had a great 12 years on Delta City Council. Uh, you know, I, I can't say enough for the people that I served with over the years. Uh, I, in, in fact, uh, one of my inspirations on council was a gentleman by the name of Councillor by the name of George Hawksworth. And uh, George passed away a few years ago while while serving on city council. And uh, I learned a lot from him. I sat beside him at the uh, council table, and uh, I would listen intently to his sage advice and uh, and uh, the way he would frame his discussions and his debates was uh, was was really it, it, it was worth paying a lot of attention to him because he had a lot of good things to say and of course the current council with Mayor Jackson and uh, and, and the rest have, uh, have really uh, brought this community a long way particularly in my riding of Delta North when I first moved here in 1986 um, there we were lacking in a lot of services and facilities and uh, we, you know, we had that concern, and many of those problems have been addressed over the years. Uh, our community has developed, and it's grown quite considerably well, as far as I'm concerned. Well-managed growth is important in any community because it's it's something that uh, you know people people uh, really feel it's important that uh, that their voices be heard as you go forward with uh, with development proposals and. And uh, you know, you, you, your community can't change too much and too drastically at any one given time. It's important to uh, to listen to what people have to say, so that a community evolves in in, in what their vision, in, in consideration of their vision. And uh, I think we've done a excellent job uh, to date of, of, of doing that and now becoming the MLA for this community is just one next step to uh, to try to help at a different level of government and uh, uh, as far as the future uh, for me is concerned uh, my goodness I just want to get out of politics alive I think it's uh, it's uh, it, it's very very demanding but uh, and I spend a lot an awful lot of time on the road away from my family but uh, at the same time it's it's rewarding and uh, I, I do look forward to getting back into my constituency it's the it's it's the type of work that I enjoy the most. Uh, I've uh, traveled quite considerably around the province with the Provincial Finance Committee. Uh, I sit on other committees including uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the Independent Investigations Office, uh, like goodness, Aboriginal Affairs, uh, as well as of course the legislative uh, uh, responsibilities when uh, the legislature is sitting in Victoria. So it does take me away from home quite a bit. Uh, but at the same time, uh, uh, I, I, I deal again at a different level of government with some incredible people and uh, they, they make my time away from home a little more bearable uh, in the sense that uh, we are a great team, we, uh, we have a terrific leader and I, uh, I think going forward we're going to hopefully inspire another generation of uh, young politicians. I have, a, I have a young intern who's uh, in grade 11 who comes into my office on a on a semi-regular basis to uh, to do some uh, on-the-job uh, learning. He's very interested in politics. As a matter of fact, he's coming to Victoria at the end of this month to uh, participate in the youth parliament, and uh, that's uh, that's going to take him a long way and hopefully get him to understand how politics works at the provincial level. And uh, maybe, just maybe, it'll inspire him to take up a career in uh, in politics. It's uh, it's it's different. It's uh, again, it's very demanding, but at the same time, it can be very rewarding. And going back to those rewards takes me back to working in my constituency because that's truly where I believe my roots are. It's uh, it's a it's a place where I enjoy being the most. Uh, in Victoria is a lot of work. Uh, it's a different kind of work, but uh, when people need your help and uh, and businesses need your help in your community, you're here in person to try to uh, do your best on their behalf, and that's important to me. Well, I didn't. Uh, I didn't really choose a political career. Uh, I never grew up thinking that someday I wanted to be an MLA or a city councillor or a mayor or anything of the sort. Uh, and in a more uh, roundabout way, politics chose me. It's. It was. It was a progressional. Uh, it was a pro progressional type of thing in the sense that uh, again, I was just. A, you know, I was just an average citizen of the community that. Uh, 
that you know had some issues at the time, but also liked to contribute wherever I could. And you know, as I became more and more involved, I guess more and more people noticed that you know possibly I had the potential to uh, to serve my community in a different capacity. And one thing led to another. I, I you know, again I was asked by by the mayor to become a parks commissioner after she was elected mayor in 1999. And, and then a few years later, in the next local election, I was asked if I'd be interested in being a city councillor. And, and then one day in 2012, uh, a number of years after that, uh, my phone rings and it's the premier and who was interested in me becoming an MLA for my community. So, you know, I, I, it's, it's something that I truly, truly enjoy doing. And I'm very, very glad that I got involved with. But uh, it's, it's. If you had asked me, you know, if you'd said to me 15 years ago, 20 years ago, that I'd be doing this for a living, I would have said you were crazy. Well, you, you've probably heard it said before that Canada is a is a land of opportunities, and and uh, I, you know, I truly believe that it is a country that. Uh, and British Columbia, as the province, has given me has given me all the opportunity in the world, and uh, I've. Uh, I've never tried to take that for granted. Uh, I think quite often people can become very, very complacent with all the wonderful things that are around us and we tend to forget that uh, the vast majority of people live in this world in far worse standards than what we do. And uh, it's important to keep that in perspective, especially at this time of year. Uh, and, you know, I, I look forward and I always uh, embrace the opportunity to uh, to uh, immerse myself in the multicultural aspects of our community, uh, everything, uh, everything from uh, Diwali and uh, uh, to Christmas to Easter to all the other celebrations. I, you know, I walk on the the, the street. I don't see a, a melting pot of people. I, you know, I see a mosaic. I see a tapestry of, uh, of different cultures that uh, that really help bind us as a community and make us who we are. So, you know, I can't impress enough the importance of trying to give back to your community at whatever, whatever level you can, uh, but uh, at the same time, never, you know, always reflect on what the community has given you and, uh, you know, use that as your inspiration to give back. Uh, for new people coming to this country, uh, you know, it's, it's it, again, a place of fabulous opportunity uh, and I would hope that they would take advantage of uh, all of the uh, all of the things that are made available to you in terms of uh, in terms of what the community has to offer and it's uh, it's very important going forward that uh, we keep that in mind again especially this time of year for young people uh, growing up you know speaking about politics in general I would truly like to see better engagement at the political level uh, more people taking an interest uh, you know People getting out out and exercising their franchise, getting out and voting. Uh, that it's it's really one of the one of the fundamental rights that so many people have laid their lives down for, and uh, we can't take that for granted either. And we have to remember that uh, you know, had it not been for many many of those people who came before us and literally laid down their lives, uh, we wouldn't have the liberties that we have. We wouldn't have the freedoms that we have. We wouldn't have the rights. So it's uh, it's very important to go out and exercise your vote and make absolutely certain that uh, you can at least sit back and say that you had a, you had a say in the matter. You, you, you were able to be part of a process that uh, so many people have defended over the years.